of the founding members of the East Tennessee-based family gospel group, the McCameys, has died. WAT6 on your side reporter Krista Gallant spoke with family today about the legacy of Peg McCamey Bean. Energetic, enthusiastic, uh, loved the Lord, and uh, her life was just beaming all the time. She always had a smile, and for anybody. Connie Fortner says her mom, Peg McCamey Bean, grew up as a coal miner's daughter in Campbell County. Bean, one of 12 children, and when her father wasn't working in the coal mines, he was preaching to the masses. Her two sisters and her uh, started singing. Their dad was a, a preacher, and they would go around to different revivals and sing, and he would preach, and uh, it just kind of got a little bigger and a little bigger. And when the two sisters retired, me and my younger sister joined mom and dad. The McCaneys have won several music awards, being even inducted into the Southern Gospel Music Hall of Fame, but they never did it for the accolades. That was a, a big part of her legacy. She taught us that uh, you pray about everything and uh, Follow where the Lord leads you. He'll open the doors. Bean's son-in-law, Roger Fortner, saying they're grateful for the outpouring of support since his mother-in-law's passing. She was a very, very well-known person in the industry of Southern Gospel music. And uh, a lot of people uh, have reached out to us. And it's just one after another. It's just been, it's been overwhelming, really, in the past couple of days. A smile that lit up a room and a heart that impacted many. Her favorite saying was... If you hear that Peg McCamey has passed away, don't you believe a word of it. I'll be more alive there than I ever was here. And that's her. In Knoxville, Kristen Gallant, W-A-T-E, six on your side. Bean was 80 years of age in lieu of flowers. Family asked that donations be made to missions at Second Baptist Church in Clinton. A service for Bean will be at Second Baptist on Friday, December 29th. Visitation starts at 4 and will run until the funeral, which will begin at 7 o'clock.